So how can I order copies of my own books from Ingram Spark? All right, that's exactly what we're gonna go over in today's video. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm MK Williams. I'm an author and independent publisher. I love sharing my insights about all things self-publishing with you. Before I get into the details of today's topic, don't forget to hit subscribe. You'll be notified when I put out new videos every week about self-publishing, making a career out of being an author, and now being a mompreneur. So it's done. Your book is formatted and approved on Ingram Spark. Now you're just waiting to get it into your hands. That beautiful moment when the books arrive and you unbox it and you're gonna film it and you're gonna post it everywhere, it's gonna be great. But how do you actually get your book from a listing on your Ingram Spark dashboard to a box on your doorstep? All right, today we're gonna be going over how to order copies of your own book on Ingram Spark. So the first time you hold your book in your hands is such an amazing moment. All right, many authors want to get their proofs or author copies as soon as they can. Now, a proof is usually a copy you receive before the release date where you can look through it and make sure the book looks the way you want it to before it goes out to the world, okay? On Amazon, they, they have versions of these that literally have the not for resale band on them. I think that's a total waste of a book because now you can't use it for anything. It's just a proof. Can't do any marketing with it. Can't do anything with it. So author copies are copies of the book that you order at cost, right? So you're only paying for printing and shipping um, for your own. You're going to use this for your own marketing, put it on a shelf, hand it to grandma, resell it at book fairs, whatever. Um, now I will do a separate video of how to do this on Amazon because they do distinguish between the proof copy and the author copy. Ingram Spark does not. Um, it's just going into orders. So how do you actually place this order in Ingram Spark? I've heard some authors ask if they should order from Amazon um, or Barnes and Noble or another retailer website to boost the rankings. So first of all, that's not ethical. So let's not do that. Um, also, Amazon can see your address. Um, for your book and they know not to count those, right? Um, so if you have this pre-order going with your ebook um, available through Amazon and you're like, oh, well, the print's on pre-order through Ingram Spark, they won't figure it out. They're gonna figure it out, okay? Um, so they're not gonna count those as sales for you and you're paying full price and then you have to wait for the pre-order to end anyways. So don't, just don't do that. Um, and third of all, yeah, your book is on pre-order, right? So they can't release it to you until your release date. So you might as well just do your order while it's on pre-order through Ingram Spark where you can override that, okay? So for those of us who do print pre-orders through Ingram Spark, you actually can order your proofs and author copies before the release date. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right now. Okay, so from your dashboard here in Ingram Spark, you're gonna navigate over to orders. So this is where you're gonna put in your print order. Now, as you can see when you're looking at my list, I have a lot of books on here. Um, they're all in white or gray. It alternates white and gray, so you can just distinguish. But this one here is in yellow. So Escaping Avila Chase is in yellow because it's on pre-order right now. Um, so it's not available for, if somebody ordered it right now, they would have to wait till October 26th till it comes out. So I'm gonna walk through this example with you where I'm actually gonna put two books on here. I really only need to order um, for Escaping Avila Chase, but for the purpose of kind of showing you how this works, I'm gonna go through. Um, now, as I get more books on here, I could make use of this search by feature. Um, so that way I could see it all, but right now everything still fits on one page. Um, we'll see if in the next year or so if I need to use a search feature. Okay, so I've clicked Escape Island of the Chase and then the games you cannot win, I'm adding again, just for that to show you guys how to do it, the difference. Um, so I'm gonna add items to order. Um, okay, so my address is saved in here and that's above the fold here um, that you guys can't see. Um, so first thing, the question you're getting is the print location. Now, nine times out of 10, 99 times actually out of 100, I'm gonna pick the US location. Um, so for a few reasons, you may pick a different location. Um, one I saw a lot last year, last summer 2020, was that people were getting a lot of delays from the US um, printing location um things just really backlogged i mean the entire supply chain was just messed up last year uh, for so many reasons so some authors were actually switching to the european um print location and shipping it to themselves um, for their proof copies or their author copies to hand out in the u.s so they were paying the extra shipping but they they wanted to have the book like the backlog was just so significant in the u.s that it to them it was worth the added shipping cost um, now another reason i might do that as you know the supply chain gets fixed and and print times go down is say i am looking to be on a podcast or i was just on a podcast where the host is based in the uk um, and they say oh i'd love to read your 
book. Can you send me a copy? Well, of course, I'm going to get them uh, a copy, um, you know, after they've been gracious enough to have me on their show. Um, so what I could do is I could take one of my current author copies, media mail it, um, or go down to the U.S. Post Office and fill out all the forms that you need to send things internationally, um, send it, you know, hopefully inexpensively um, over there. Or I could go from the Ingram Spark and I could from the US location ship it there, but I would have to pay more shipping. But what's going to be the most efficient in that case to get one of my books from Ingram Spark to somebody located in the UK or even Australia would be to switch to their print location. Um, but in this case, I'm shipping to myself in the US, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, Ingram Spark does from time to time offer promotional codes for shipping. You usually have to order like hundreds of books. Um, I only need a couple, um, so I'm not going to worry about that today. Um, so after that, those big delays last year, the different print services um, are back. Last year, it was just one speed, <laughs> which was slow. Um, you can you can ask that it gets printed faster. And really, this is not that bad of a price difference. Um, you'll see with the different shipping options, the price goes up really quickly. Um, so with basic, you don't get any tracking on it. So if your package gets lost, it gets lost. Um, that was something that happened to me last year. My one package, it just got lost somehow um and like the usps said like we never received this box from ingram spark like they're saying they sent it but like it didn't check into our system at all anywhere like even if you don't have tracking like we know what we receive and we never received it so um there's a lot of back and forth they did eventually find it it got to usps um eventually got to me um, but with basic you don't get any kind of tracking um and usually that's what if you're having an issue with your shipping ingram spark will say well you didn't pay for tracking so like we can't see where it is um so usually the residential ground will get you the tracking um but it's a big price jump and then second day and next day like these really jump up really quickly so i usually go with basic just because um, money doesn't grow on trees, um, but you can expedite things if you need to. So in this case, what I really need are just like a couple copies of Escaping Avila Chase. I always have one for myself that I have on the bookshelf for all my videos. I have one that I have to send to the Library of Congress, and then I usually like to have one or two extra. Um, in this case, I'm just going to get one extra. Um, I'm probably going to order some other um, print copies from Amazon as well, um, just so I can compare those so I can see the unit selling price. Um, so this is the cost to print. Um, and the shipping will show up later. So in this case, you see it's in yellow again because the on-sale date is until October 26th. So I can say hold this until the on-sale date or override it. So I want to override it. I want to get my book now. I don't want to wait till October. Um, I'm filming this in August. Um, but say I got um, a bookstore, a local bookstore said, hey, we want to stock your next book. Um, I would probably say, okay, well, I'm going to wait till the release date to send it to you so you don't accidentally sell it early. Um, if I was really concerned about that, if not, um, I would override the on-sale date. So it's showing me everything there. Um, and then it's going to ask me the same things for the second book, right? So I'm able to go through and say, okay, yep, I just want one of those. I actually don't want any, but again, for the purpose of this. Um, I'm going through and doing that. And then they're showing the separate shipping and handling fees. Now, because I've picked the basic shipment, I have to check this box that says, I understand. I picked basic shipment. I can't do anything about it if it gets lost. There we go. Do, 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 do. So I just need to click update order because it wants to know, okay, well, you change the number, you change these other things. Okay, so I've updated the order so it sees everything. So now it's moved all onto one line because I picked the same service and shipping. Um, so everything is in there. Escaping Avila Chase over the on sale date. Only one of those. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I have to check this again. It really wants to make sure I'm not um, I'm not expecting some kind of express service. And I do see that a lot of authors on different forms complain about the speed. And then I usually ask, well, what, what shipping did you pick? Um, and that's usually how that gets there. So when you go to submit order, go to submit order, it takes you through another confirmation page where you're just looking at everything one more time. You see the final price um, and you actually put in the email address that you want to send things to. And then you just hit proceed to payment um, where you have your credit card information already stored and you hit confirm. Um, so it's really super simple. Okay, so I put in my order a couple of days ago and now I just wanna see how it's doing. Like, where is it in the process? Is it coming to me or easily? So you go down to orders again and click to submit it and then you actually click on the SKU for your order. So as you can see in this one, I can see that it was ordered and it's currently printing. So I just have to wait a little bit longer. Okay, and that's it folks. Um, so my books have arrived, they're looking amazing. Bah, little photo here.
All right, so what other questions do you have about using the Ingram Spark platform? Let me know below so I can make a video answering your questions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That lets YouTube know that you're getting value from this information and can get it in front of other authors like us. Now you can get back to writing your book. Hey, if you want to continue to support this channel and my other creative work, please head over to buymeacoffee.com and support my channel. You can buy me one coffee, three, five, ten, or you can even get a membership. Those who are in the membership are actually going to be included in the acknowledgments pages of all of my published books moving forward as a big thank you. And you can even get some additional options to get an Instagram thank you post shout out or a shout out in an upcoming video. Thank you so much for supporting this channel.